Hey, what's up guys? It's Mike. It's Dan. Um, I want to talk about this story and I feel like this story is it's, it, it goes it goes a little deeper than than I guess what it's presenting. So right. there's a woman from Fort Worth, Texas. Yeah. Um, she's a model, a big plus size model. And we, we hear about plus plus size models in the past year or so. Right. It's giving more attention. Like people are like, you know what? Models don't have to be the stick figure. Um, it doesn't have to be a certain, you know, shape. You don't right. have to be a certain shape or be a certain weight or be a certain height to be a model. Right. You're beautiful however you look, which right. I totally agree with. But I feel like in this case, it's something, I feel like there's something more here than just a woman who wants to look beautiful right. however way she she is. Well, yeah, because um, in the beginning, her weight has always been a problem ever mm -hmm. since a kid. And, and if you have a, a weight problem, um, it actually affects your health tremendously. Yeah. And her mom's always been afraid of her weight gain. And you see like her, her ch when she was a child, like she was always very big. So uh, she had a boyfriend, an ex-boyfriend. She has a new boyfriend now, the ex-boyfriend you know, they were about to go in for like a gastric bypass or whatever surgery that you do to try to, you know, get yourself into a healthy weight. And then she did not go through with it because she wanted to embrace her body. Yeah. Which, I mean, that in itself, I think, I mean, that that's good. The concept is fine. The concept is fine. But I think fine. what she's yeah. doing now is setting a really bad example. Yeah, I, I agree. Because like, she's, she's right now at 700 pounds. Yeah. And she wants to get to 1,000 pounds that's and become immobile. Insane. That that's where this story really took a crazy turn for me because yeah. um, her and her boyfriend. Now her boyfriend is two years younger than her. His name is Sid Riley. Now it's borderline like kind of kind of sick to me because I, I feel like it's yeah. I mean, yeah, sick is the word I would use because listen to what why she wants to get to a thousand pounds. Mm -hmm. She wants to be so large that she is incapable of moving. She yeah. wants to be immobile. Right lay on her bed and have her boyfriend take care take care of her which he actually likes to do yes so he he likes that and she wants that even more and to the point where they she wants to get like a toilet that's built into the, into bed. the bed so you you don't so have she to just move lays there and poops and and they mentioned that she she would loves the idea that her boyfriend would would clean her weight on her and empty her poop in okay now she's also saying that she wants to have a kid. Can, yeah. No, this no. cannot happen. Like, no. nope, can't do it because, I, it, like, you, like we we see something wrong with that. Like, like if you don't see something wrong with that, like think about this, right? It's one thing. Like a lot of people have a have a problem. It's not their disorder. fault. Yeah. Let's say it's an eating disorder. Uh, sometimes you hear like a thyroid gland issue where anything they eat mm -hmm. they just balloon up. Like they they require medicine. It's not right. their fault. So if your family takes care of you, it's like, you know, you, it's not like you purposely got that big right. to force them to take care of you. Can you imagine this little girl if she was born? Like, they're not thinking about this little girl at all. Well, no, she's saying, she's like, I can raise a kid from my bedroom. No, you cannot. No, you cannot. Wow. No, you can't. Like, you are, and what, are you, what kind of example are you setting for your kid? Look, we, we, we embrace on this show, on all, all of our channels, we embrace, you know, people who, you know, whatever you feel like you, you need to do to, to feel beautiful, mm -hmm. we encourage you to do it. Right. Um, but this is, I feel like this is borderline, like, there's some something wrong with her mentally. Yeah, in to, the boyfriend. To, yeah, in the boyfriend to be to be able to think this is okay. First of all, right. this is not healthy. Right. How long can you live like that? Oh, not long, not long. And and her mom is real. And first of all, what you're putting your family through. Okay. Some people in your family are already like, please stop doing this. Mm -hmm. Like you're. First of all, 700 pounds already is insane. Like even if you're a 300 pound person, like your life is at risk. Yeah. Your life is at risk unless you're a basketball player. If you're 300 pounds under six foot seven, you got some serious problems. Okay, um, so she's 700 pounds. She wants to get to a thousand. First of all, you're not getting to a thousand. Do you know how? Like literally, you're not getting to a thousand pounds. Like you would literally be like job at the hut. Well, no, people have gotten over a thousand pounds. There have been people yeah. over a thousand pounds. Over a thousand pounds. I yeah. know the highest was like eight. No, 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 no. There have been people over a thousand pounds. One yeah. thousand pounds. Over, because I remember like, like goes on Oprah God. or something. Holy, yeah. and, and of course they're bedridden. They can't move. Right? No, they can't move. They can't move. Um, their family has to take care of them. 
But those people aren't like yeah, she lo- over a thousand pounds. But, and, but here's the thing, I yeah. bet you, how many of those people are sitting there? But they they don't want to. be. That's what I'm saying. They're not trying to they're do it. Trying. They're like they're like we're. I mean, it's I'm crazy. sick. I have a disorder. I want help. Yeah. This woman's just like you know what? This is this is this is beautiful. No, this is. There's really something wrong with this. And yeah. you should not have a kid and put your kid through this. That's the problem I have with that. And what's the kid going to do when the boyfriend's not there to clean the poo? The kid's going to have to clean the yeah. poo job? So the, so the kid's childhood's gone because they have to go, you know, buy stuff to feed you because she gets fed like, three, you know, thousands of calories a day. Yeah. And then they have to help clean you up and they have to help push you. Well, oh. you're not getting out of bed. So basically... She's okay with the fact that she never has to leave her bed ever again. And I guess, you know, maybe right now at the moment, age 27, maybe she doesn't have a serious heart condition, but in a year or two, I mean, everything can change overnight. And then you would, would have already done this damage to your body, yeah, to your just family. I just really want to think this is a good Please example don't. to set. So we want to talk about this news. Um, obviously, we're not trying to talk about it to make fun of her or anything no, like no, that. No, not at all. But this not is a all. kind of a serious issue. Right. I mean, this is just like something that people should not do. This is crazy. And she already had two miscarriages. Yeah. So they have been trying. And it's just and like... And she eats out of a funnel. Can't, I, it's like, I feel like this could, because in America, you know, like child, child protective laws are really strict, mm-hmm. really strict. Okay. Um, they will take it. The government will take a kid away from, from somebody that they deem unfit to raise a child. And, and that's it. The child will be taken away from you. I feel like this would be borderline. I mean, I mean, we just did a story the other day where a couple left the child for four minutes in a booth you know we're not whatever you think about that they're being investigated so this is definitely a, a grounds for like if the government gets word like your way you're gonna bring a child to this family you're a thousand pounds how is this gonna work how are you gonna support the child like that that would be an issue i'm not saying they, they're gonna go stop them but this is definitely will be a yeah. huge issue well anyway let us know your thoughts on this story we're really curious to know what everyone thinks thanks for watching guys see you later